tournaments, though. Uh, but speaking of Alliance tournaments, how are your guys' tournaments going? Because I'll admit, I'm a little surprised. I'm a little surprised just at the participation numbers. We're three days through the Alliance tournament. We're starting on day four right now. And if you go look at stfc.pro, shout out to our dear buddy Chrono, you can see, if you go to this little tournaments tab, you can see all of the active servers and scores and things like that across all of the different leagues. I mean, we're actually down here this time around. And you can see the participation numbers and whatnot. And if we're looking at U.S., all of the U.S. servers combined, player participation is 37%. And that seems low to me. I would have thought we were getting, um, you know, would have been well at least 50% or higher, but, you know, even just looking at my server for a second, server 40, you're getting decent participation out of a couple of the top alliances, but then it drops off real fast. 27 out of 68, 34 out of 86, 21 out of 50, like... These are some real low numbers. So either there are just a lot of inactive players on these accounts who are just, just sitting there as placeholders for some of these alliances, or people really don't like this alliance tournament, which I don't get because there's plenty of easy tasks to do to even just get a couple done and get on the board. You don't have to spend any money. I, haven't, I don't spend any money, and I've completed tasks on my level 22 account. It's challenging. It's difficult to find ones you can do because there's very few that I can do. Uh, but there's a task for like kill swarms or there's a task to kill like a specific FKR hostile. And it's like, hey, when that one jumps up, jump on it. The FKR one is actually 5,000 points. Uh, so I just went and, you know, level 22, go to a level 25 system and kill a bunch of Federation hostiles uh, for 5,000 points. 77 kills. Because you're three levels, you're punching up three levels. Did it in two hulls. Didn't take a lot of time. Bam, 5,000 points. But I don't quite get why some people just don't care. There's decent rewards in the store, too. It's not like it's like, ah, well, all this stuff is garbage. There's decent rewards in this store you're getting access to a handful of free primes especially for free to play here's ones to lower your ship part costs for g4 and g5 ships off of this ship part particle prime uh you've got ones down here boosting weapon damage boosting efficiency for buildings and things like that like there's some some good researches that you can get off out of some of these things here or you can use it to source officers. You can use it to source forbidden texts that you can't get without paying for them. You can use it to source uh, artifacts that are good to upgrade to really boost your abilities. I know it's not an immediate impact because some of these things you're getting pieces of and fragments of and you're like, well, when's the damn thing going to come back again? Hopefully they continue to run these with some consistency so we can actually unlock some of this stuff in two to three months at a time but yeah it's i i don't know i'm just over here scratching my head going i don't i don't see what the problem is like taana has terrible sourcing but here's an opportunity to come in here and pick up two shards a piece of her for you know 880 you can get up to 40 shards of taana i could level up my uno right now if i wanted to bam right there pick up some of these other premium artifacts and things that are harder to get How about some lower deck PvP officers? Here's Carol Freeman. Oh, don't have the new Picard? Uh, there you go. Good way to source them. Again, depending on what league you're in, what you're going to have access to. But if you can actually move up a little bit, which doesn't seem like it would be that hard considering how many alliances don't seem to have good participation numbers.
The point disparity between the 750 point events and the 10K events is disheartening for the average player. They don't see the end game rewards, Darth says. Maybe. Maybe they're not thinking big picture. Or they don't see how much of an impact some of this stuff will have on their day-to-day -day life. Yeah, let's get some more hull health for my ships. Bam, right there. Like, this is an unlock. Or a tear up. Pick a ship. Get a tear up. Get more hull health. Like, that's an impact on your day-to-day -day life. But. Primes and field trip. Yeah, of course. The things you can't get normally should be your priority. The, the primes should be your priority. These are free primes. You normally have to pay 100 bucks or more for some of these because some of these are, you know, uh, multi-level ones. So a chance to actually upgrade some of them more than once for free is a wonderful takeaway. Um, and same thing with some of the texts. Like, these forbidden texts, these are pay-only. These are PvP-based ones. Uh, some of these other texts back here are also pay-only, but they are cheaper. And these ones actually give you additional for unlocks in your refinery. How about Mud's Helmet? Make your buildings cheaper. That's a good one, right? Right there. Make your buildings cheaper to upgrade. That seems like a win. Goes back to what you were talking about earlier. People complaining about material costs. I don't have enough par steel. I only have 8 trillion. It's not enough for me to level up. It's not. Scary. It's not. But if I come in here and I go look at where's my Mud's Helmet? My Mud's Helmet's level 4. Maybe this is worth leveling up a little bit. Getting an extra 5, 10, 15% to try and drop that cost. If you really want to know if that'll help you or not, or how much it'll help you, you can plug it into Spox Club and see the savings. And maybe that's just too much for the, the casual player. Maybe the casual player doesn't want to... I don't want to think about these things. I don't want to use these websites. The same people who hate using Discord. I just want to play the game. And maybe that's it. Same people who are not here watching Twitch or watching YouTube videos. They just want to mash the buttons and play the game. So that's maybe, so maybe that's why they don't participate in tournaments because, like people are saying, they don't see the value in the tasks. So, mashed potato first time being here. You're just looking at this for the first time. What level do you have to be to complete rare Borg solo armadas? Uh, you don't source them before 40, I believe. Wait, I'm wrong about that. At 35, you'll get the Borg solo armadas. Chests. You can start doing the Borg solos. You can start sourcing the directives out of your uncommon bundle here. It's not until 40, though, that you actually get the turn-in. So I think you can still source directives for rares and kill rares at 35 if you can manage to do it. Um, but the currency you get will not be useful to you until 40, which is how you'll get to the, the ability to start epics. Um, I think that's how that works. Your only ops 20. Oh, you got a long way to go then. Yeah, solo armadas don't start until 35 for both Borg and Dominion. But hey, thanks for being here. Feel free to ask any other questions you might have. You can't do much credits unless you can do 10k tasks. The lesser tasks have such low value. But to do no tasks, right? Like, there's some good ones in here for 3,000, 4,000 points, right? Run three epic. Maybe you don't have the directives for that, okay? Spend 5,000. Okay, upgrading the building. Maybe not. Hey, go kill some Herogen hostiles. They're up in Voyager space. You can do this at any level. I took my level 22, I took my North Star up there, and I was killing level 26 Herogens at 21 points apiece. Took me two trips. Got it done. Spending X Borg credits? No, those aren't going to work. Borg probes at level 25? You can kill Borg probes if you have a Vidar. 
Wave defenses starting at level 30, right? You can get into wave defenses. I mean, the point values aren't great for some of these. I get that. Texas class sentry hostiles. This is an AFK auto grind. Yes, I know it's only 750 points, but 750 points can sometimes make a difference. If we go look at some of these alliances right here, like who's on the bubble about to be getting cut right now? This one right here, level 19. It won't show me their scores. But if you look at if a few more people here put up some 1,500-point tasks, you'd probably catch up and close the gap between some of these other alliances. Like, there's not big gaps here. 15 to 14th place, that's not a big gap. Senko says if you do all three, the tournament, you get 750 points per event. If you just pick the low-level, lowest-hanging fruit, right? That's 2250 a day. You do it five days. That's what, 11,250 over five days? Who's got less than 11,250? Yeah, a couple of players down here. And we even have a handful of players who haven't scored. Only 86 out of our 103 have actually scored. Log in. Do a couple 750 or 1500 point tasks. Nobody's asking you to spend money. Nobody's asking you to do the 10,000 point tasks that you can't do. Get six star gas. Acquire 700,000 galactic for two tokens. You know, acquire the section 31 ciphers. These are all spend money tasks. You just re-roll them. Hope we get something better. They give you a bunch of re-roll tokens every day. Spend seven rare commander skill points. That's a fairly reasonable one for a lot of people that they can do. If you're in your mid-40s, right, 2,000 points, just pick up a task. Help out. Just help out a little bit. Players want the credits from the tasks. I mean, you do get some credits if you're just going to cherry pick and try and get the biggest ones. Yeah, those do require a little bit more investment and involvement for sure. Fusion rods. Ugh. No, thank you. That's a buy a pack one. But what are your options? Do no tasks because you don't like the, the, the... Oh, these tasks that I can get, they don't give additional credits, so I'm not even going to do any of them. Well, then you still don't get any credits. Except now your alliance finish is lower, so now your rewards are lower, and you get even less credits? Because instead of finishing, well, even the rewards don't scale down that much. Or you get delegated and kicked to a lower league, and now you can't come in here to your store because the thing you wanted, the prime you've been working on, that you got half of last time, well, congratulations, you just got demoted. Now this line is grayed out, and you don't have access to it anymore. Like, you just screwed over not only yourself, but everybody else in your alliance who was going for that same prime. Because you didn't bother to do any tasks. I do agree that I'd like to see some of these tasks, even the small ones like Carissa points out, at least give a little something, right? Even if it just gives like 50. Because to get, you know, 330 for this one at 4,000, but nothing for this one at 1,500, that doesn't make people feel good. And this is what we thought that they were going to change. We thought that they were going to revise a lot of these things and make this whole better, event better, and scoring better, and rewards better, which is why they took it down for two months. And it seems like all they did was just sort of make a couple little tweaks that Ripper probably could have done on his lunch break, and then push the event back out. Which again probably says... Acquire 500 Epic Borg. That's the great one. That's a 10,000 point one. Can't do it right now because my cooldown is up because I did that one yesterday or the day before. But all you'd have to do for that one is come in here and open your rare box. Do a double chest pull. Bam, 500 directives. 10,000 points. 
If your timer's up, that's a good one. So. Yeah, there's a lot of the, the junk ones are still in there that further revisions and work are going to be needed. No doubt about that. They took a baby step in the right direction. But given that the participation numbers are still pretty low, it's less than 40% across the board. Um, EU had the highest when I looked about an hour ago. They were at 39%. US was at 37%. APAC was at 37.5% or something like that. So the overall participation numbers are not great. And I'm kind of scratching my head a little bit because... I look in this store here and I see a lot of things of value that I would love to get for free and don't understand why other people don't see the same thing. So, <laughs> Running it is better than not running it at all? Agree 100%. Having it out here, even like this in its current form, don't take it down for another two months and be like, oh, we need more time to work on it. No, work on it in the background. But don't take the don't stop running the events so you can work on it. Let the people who want to participate keep participating. Let us get stuff we're working on. Let us keep getting our primes and our officers and our forbidden tech. And rant.